everybody, let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1, and then go down to the same chapter, in the same chapter, to 28 to 31. And then back over to the New Testament to John chapter 8, in the latter part of verse 44. And then back to the New Testament to Psalm 93, 1 to 5. The Lord wants me to encourage the believers today. Actually, the command in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 says, Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. So that's the prophetic word today is to comfort the listener. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1, Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. And then down to verse 28 to 31, Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not weary. They shall walk and not faint. Remember that today. Read Isaiah chapter 40, uh, the entire chapter. Going on to John eight forty four, it says, He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. And of course, the context of this is Jesus is speaking to the religious leaders of the time. And they're questioning Jesus' authority. And he is just flat out telling him, you are your, of your father, the devil. And he begins to describe the enemy of our souls. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. Someone is listening to the lies of the enemy over and beyond the truth of God's word. The truth of how God thinks of you. What God thinks of you, how God thinks of you, and where God stands. As the psalmist or Isaiah said, Have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator, the creator of the ends of the earth? Neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. But you're giving into a lie to think that God is limited because you think that God has left you. And he said he will never leave you or forsake you. You are being lied to. Either people that you are around or decisions that you are making that are causing a lack of faith in your life. The faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There's many people that have... It's been a long time since you've heard God's word. It's a long time since you just sit down and taken in the word of God and allow your spirit to be fed uh, with the word of God. And so doubt has crept in and it's taken root and it's causing bondages in your life. You're shackled to things unnecessarily so because whom the son has set free is free indeed. You're being lied to and the Lord wants you to be comforted by who God is. Again, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. This is the truth, folks. The enemy's lying to you. God has not forsaken you. God is still in your life. God loves you. He wants you to follow him. He wants you to listen to him. He wants to be your protector, but you're not letting him because of the decisions that you're making in your life. Verse 30 says, even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fail. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's who God is to us. That's how God works in our lives. The enemy is lying to you. Take great comfort in the fact that who God is and even greater comfort that you know right now, listening to this video, how much the enemy lies to you. He is a liar, Jesus said. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, which are limited. God is not limited in his resources. 
The enemy of our soul, the devil, is limited. And he wants to lie to you and convince you that he has more abilities than he really does or resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. Psalm 93, 1-5 says, The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed. He has girded himself with strength. Surely the world is established so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. This is the truth. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord is on high. The Lord on high is mightier than the noises of many waters, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Comfort my people. Yes, comfort my people, says the Lord. God bless you. Have a great day.